Hey guys, this is Arjun back with another video and this time it's the beast. Let's start. Samsung faced a lot of heat with the Note 7. So people were very eager for the next Samsung flagship. Even though Samsung is playing a little safe with the battery this time, it still manages to pull out an awesome phone. The first thing which stands out is the display. Samsung is calling this infinite display and hands down it's the best display you can get on a phone right now. The edge displays are now a part of the Samsung flagship family. But this one is a bit different. It doesn't stand out. Yeah, I know. Hear me out. The edge displays always felt like a different section of the screen. But with the S8, Samsung really made the edge a part of the main screen. It really melts along the sides and it's just pure premium. Continuing about the design, it's typical Galaxy with all glass body, waterproof and slow speakers. The biggest change is the fingerprint scanner which has its new home on the back, on the right of the camera. It seems like a simple change to have that infinite display. But the fingerprint scanner at the back is not so ergonomic. The complaints are instead of scanner, your fingers touch the camera, smudging and winning good shots. Moving to the camera, there is not much to say except it's pretty much the same as the S7 with some software twitches. But it might not be a bad thing considering the S7 had a pretty awesome camera, best in class in fact. Talking about the front camera, the front camera is upgraded to a 8 megapixel shooter from a 5 megapixel shooter. Just alongside the camera, we have the new iris scanner which Samsung says is the next level of security. I bet. It's not like the iris scanner doesn't work properly. It actually does. But people are so used to fingerprint scanner, it's even mainstream in budget phones. I don't think it's going anywhere for another few years. The inside of the S8 is also interesting. It has the Exynos 8895 which is the latest and greatest from Samsung. But I don't get why we do not get the Snapdragon variant here in India. It has 4GB memory and pretty much everything else falls in place when we are talking about the new Samsung Galaxy. The last thing which needs some attention is the software. Samsung has its own skin on Android Nougat. But I'm pretty sure Samsung will someday create another Android. Looking at the current works at duplicating every app that Google makes, it's gonna be ugly. The S8 has the Bluetooth 5.0 which can connect two devices at the same time and this is the first device having 5.0. Another thing I would like to talk about is the Samsung Pay, which is not an exclusive to the S8 but it's still pretty new. It's basically an app which stores your various card info, credit card, debit card and then allows you to transact with your phone using NFC. It's basically like uh, the Android Pay and Apple Pay in US but in India Samsung was the first. And I cannot end my video without telling you about Bixby. So Bixby is the new assistant from Samsung which is pretty much kind of like the Google Assistant. And in fact, Samsung went ahead and put a physical button on the left side of the phone just for Bixby. So I don't know where Samsung was trying to go with it. But anyway, that's how it is. So that's pretty much it for this video. If there is any question, comment below. Subscribe for more videos and I would like to thank two people for this video, Sachin Joshi and Pradyum Deshpande. Both of them are awesome people slash photographer. Go and follow them on Instagram. That's it. Arjun Mukherjee signing off.